Hello everybody and welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. Looks like a double feature Saturday, I guess. I go for a couple of months with nothing and then two or three videos today. So this is a quick one. I just I wanted to show you a, a, a mantle clock I've been working on. Um, show you the the file itself. I'm happy if anybody has uh, Vectric Aspire uh, VCarve Pro. Uh, I don't know if VCarve will do this or not, uh, but certainly Aspire. I'm happy to send them a file if this is something that they like. Uh, it's a mantle clock. It's got some roses here, some roses that go around here. Uh, I modeled this using two rail sweep. Uh, modeled this using the uh, uh, vectors, or excuse me, um, array, uh, follow vector array. Uh, again, two, two, two rail sweep. And so I just I want to touch on a couple of things here. Uh, again, I have the clock file available if anybody wants it. So let me just show you a couple of the things that we did here. We'll go ahead and go new. The, the stock was 24 inches by 16 inches, and it was 3.36 inches thick. I zeroed on the table, X, Y, lower left, worked in inches, and here we go. And so the first thing that I want to show you is uh, if you have a circle, and we'll put a circle here right in the middle, and then uh, when you purchase Aspire, it comes with quite a few 3D models. I use this uh, rose here, and you simply drag it onto the workplace uh, workpiece, and then I sized it down to fit into the area that I needed it. So. I wanted it to follow around the circle that I had drawn and what it's going to do is, is it's going to take the center of the model and it's going to sweep it around this vector. And so you go to modeling, you go to copy object along vectors and you click uh, or excuse me push shift left click to select your vector and then I went one inch between copies, forced even spacing, aligned the objects to the curve, and clicked copy. And there we go. And now you don't need that one anymore, so you can delete that. And then I came in here and deleted the vector. I then selected all of the models and grouped them together. And I had an inner vector and an outer vector. Um, that I used so that when it came time to do the machining I selected the two vectors and then uh, then did the machining within the uh, within the two vectors and so I'm just doing this quickly here so you've got your two vectors here and then I uh, I just did a finishing tool path using a tapered ball nose bit uh, that has a sixteenth of an inch radius and it turned out really good. So I just wanted to show you how you align uh, objects to the vectors and that's how we did it. The other thing that we did to um, in order to get the um, I don't know why I'm having a hard time getting my words out today. In order to get these shapes here to model these uh, I used a, a two rail sweep and let me go ahead and show you that uh, let me just select this because this is the little uh, um, little profile that I use so we'll come in here and create a new one again same dimensions everything's the same let me just go ahead and put that little vector there we'll come back to that in just a second and so I drew 
uh, what I wanted my uh, clock to be. And I'm just going to use a, uh, let me just do a quick shape here uh, for you. Let's take that and we'll line that up like that. And then let's go ahead, we'll click that away, click that away. Um, that's good. And then let's go ahead and we'll go N for node editing. And I want to cut uh, that one. I want to cut that one. I want to cut that one. And I want to cut that one. And what that, uh, hit escape, and what that enables us to do is to select these like this and delete them. And then what we can do is we can take, uh, let me go ahead and just cut this off right here. Close. Then what we can do now is take the, this half circle and this base down here, we'll select that, uh, push shift and click to select that, right click, let's join the vectors with a smooth curve and you got the curve here, and then right click again and let's join those with a smooth curve, boom. And there you've got the nice basic shape that, <clears throat> that we used on the clock there. Then I came here and I took the offset and I offset a half of an inch and now I have my two rails. And so come over to modeling, uh, select the outer vector, shift, left click, inner vector, two rail sweep, use selection because we've already selected. We're going to sweep between the spans. Now see how the start points are different here. What I did was I came down here and clicked in this corner and made that a start point clicked in this corner and made that the start point and then uh, I want these to uh, sweep the same way and then I'm going to select this little you gotta have a profile for it to to know what you're doing this is a a little profile that I created with two steps and a radius and then apply and then uh, close you can come to your 3d view and there you have that uh, that profile there and that's how you uh, two rail sweep so then I selected the component here settings this is a half inch tall I made them three eighths of an inch tall close and I renamed it to be outer border and there we go and then to machine that uh, pretty simple you want your inside vector and shift select outside vector I just went straight to a finishing tool path utilizing a uh, 16th of an inch ball nose with a 30 second radius uh, we rastered it I had no boundary vector offset because I want it to start and stop right on the edges. Toolpath name was outer border. Calculate. And then if you preview the toolpath, you get the outer border. Now, why is it way down there? Well, this is something I forget to do all the time. You have to come in here to set and rather than have the model in the uh, bottom three eighths of an inch, I want it at the top. So I'm going to allow uh, a 30 second of an inch uh, up here and then we'll start the model and all this will be wood. Select OK. And then, of course, we have to uh, recalculate the tool paths. It does so. Now we can come preview. And we will. Now we have our 
um, rail up there. And then the other tool paths that I did, because all of this interior portion here, and then of course we cut it out on the outside vector, and then all this was cleared out uh, with the roses and the hole cut out for the clock, etc. But that's, that's the two rail sweep and aligning the model uh, to the vectors in an array. That was pretty much it on the clock. Um, basic profile cutouts for the circle on the inside, um, profile cutout on the outside. All of that was uh, pretty basic stuff, but I wanted to take a time to uh, show you those two processes, the two rail sweep, and again, the align models to the vector. So thanks again for watching. Coming up next, I've got some video of the clock being machined on the CNC machine. Enjoy that. Thanks again for watching. Work against the grain. My name is Jeff.